Welcome to First Canada's FTC SIM tutorials. This series is about how to use FTC SIM, a First Tech Challenge robot simulator created by First Canada. So if you've never been in before, welcome. Uh, this uh, tutorial is going to help you. Um, this specific one is going to help you sign up your class, sign you up as a teacher, and allow you to enroll them in the various FTC SIM modules. So here I am at pixelpad.io. I've gone to log in, sign up, and I already have a, a few accounts. The one I want to focus on today is the one I have started where I signed up as a teacher. So if you haven't already done this, you can go and put your information in and a password and then uh, sign up as a teacher. So I've already done that, so I'm going to continue from uh, this point. The one difference that you'll likely notice as soon as you go in, if you've already been in before, the one we focus on is FTC SIM, but now it has this um, new choice called My School, and that's where we want to go and focus. So you can see I've already created a couple of classes. I've created My School, <coughs> called, I've called it this last school I taught at, St. Robert, and I've created a couple of classrooms. And in those classrooms, I have some students and if I click on one of them, I can see there's my list of students. I can enroll them. I can change the password. I can remove them. Uh, and I can check progress. And I did a couple of uh, tutorials, the puzzles, so that you could see that it's going to show it here. So I can have, there's more than just FTC movement, but that's one of them. So I'll go back out and uh, I'll go through it again. So. Uh, when you create your school, um, you just give whatever name you want. It doesn't have to be the actual school you're, you're working at, or it could be a group if you're part of a team and you want to just track that. So at this point, we're going to go and add classroom. <coughs> That's our first step. Um, I'm going to just use uh, a room in the school, room 245, which I believe was the last classroom I taught at. And I'm going to add that class in. I'm the teacher, so that makes it simple. It has no students. So um, I would go over here to view to add a student. So I'm going to add a student, and I'm going to call this one M. Bradner. And <clears throat> as a username, I'll take a, you don't have to use an email. I'll just use uh, Mark B as a username. And the password, I'm going to leave it like that because I want to change it later on. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, never. So I'm going to. I have, can do a couple of things. One of the things I can do is I can enroll Mark in some of these uh, things that we're going to do. So I enroll him to FTC Movement. Enroll that user, and then if I want, I'm gonna. I can change the password. So I'm just gonna put it in right now. So M A R K, uh, and I'll just put down 2021, just because it's a standard one I, I tend to use. But anyways. You can, I know that some schools I've seen, they use the exact same password when they set this up for the student. Anyways, so now if we want to check, we can see that there's that FTC movement one set up. And when he does the puzzles, the progress will show here that he's completed a puzzle out of 10. So it'll say one or two or three or four. Uh, and that's what you can see here in the, the previous classes that I might have had. So here's my... BTT. So if I go to view, <coughs> I can see um, when I go to progress that a couple of the students have made some progress. And this is why I've done this. This uh, is for me to test this out. Um, when you do do this, uh, you, you may notice some changes because I've actually redone this video a second time because um, just this past week, the progress uh, aspect was added in. So now that we have the progress, we can see uh, how many of the students have completed. So that was just a brief overview of how to um, set up your classroom and add students in and enroll them in. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you do have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact me at uh, paul.keenan at gmail.com or at pkeenan at firstinspires.org. And I hope you enjoy the FTC SIM. Uh, as I mentioned, there's going to be 
upgrades coming all the time. Uh, so hopefully, if you do enjoy it, you'll get back to me telling me uh, how your students have used it and how you've enjoyed it. Uh, so please don't hesitate to contact me if you do have any questions.